Howdy folks, this is Cody with GameCan.net, coming at you with another um, retro game. This is Captain Comic on the 8-bit Nintendo. It is done by Color Dreams, the company that, if I remember correctly, would eventually become Wisdom Tree. So yes, this is made by that religious game company. However, this is not a religious game, I think. I mean, it's the adventures of Captain Comic. Clearly, it's a spaceship in space. Can't see how it would be religious, but you never know with these people. On an aside... I've recently reformatted my computer and had to reinstall everything. For some reason, I cannot get audio on this when I'm recording it. It records the audio just fine for you guys, but I can't hear anything. So I, if the music is awful, I can't comment or, you know, it's just going to be awful. Sorry, but, you know, it was going to be awful anyways. So right away, I'm beamed down into a castle. I guess this is Captain Comic. It looks more like uh, Captain Tom. And Jesus Christ, I can't shoot. If I remember cor Jesus! What the fuck? They're just coming at me. Birds and worms. Freaking hate C Captain Comic here. Still can't shoot. I think I gotta collect an item right here. There we go. Just shoot. I don't know why. It's just stupid. You'd think he would come to the planet with the ability to defend himself. And I haven't even been able to shoot a single thing. I'm almost dead. And I only just now got the gun. Why does this planet that has nothing but birds, trees, and worms have a blaster anyway? I don't know how I survived. Apparently you can lose more... You can you don't die if you only have one life and you lose it. Apparently you can survive with zero health. Makes no sense, but whatever. So far the game's pretty... Re Jeez, how did I... I don't know how I survived that long without health. Oh hey, does the game have checkpoints? That's cool. Hey, I killed a couple things. So far, this game is pretty garbage. Now, admittedly, I'm probably just sucking really... Whoa, that inchworm is coming after me. I'm probably sucking really bad at this, and... Wow. Now, I am sucking bad at this, but the controls are somewhat weird. Captain Comet kind of floats, almost like Luigi from Super Mario Bros. 2. But much worse. Like, Luigi is actually very controllable with his floating. This guy kind of slides everywhere like he's walking on ice. Am I doing something wrong? What the... I, so you have to literally tap start to get it to pause. If you push start, it will unpause as soon as it pauses. I don't know why. I have blast level one and no treasure. Not much to see here. Select does not seem to do anything. That must be a shield. Health back. Perfect. So far, this game's pretty, uh, bleh. I mean, it's not terrible. It's definitely garbagey, but it's definitely playable. I wouldn't recommend playing it so far. Maybe that'll change here in a bit. I don't know how far I'll get. But it's a pretty generic side-scroller. I don't know why I'm fighting cardinals, crows, and inchworms, but, you know... I would assume Captain Comic, when landing on a strange alien planet, would fight maybe aliens or robots or robot aliens, space pirates, I don't know. Not not birds he could have found on Earth. I assume this is a planet that's not Earth? I mean, I guess it could be Earth at night. But then why would he need the helmet to breathe? Can't shoot up. I'm almost dead again. Fantastic. I don't know what that is, but I doubt I'll be able to get to it. Yeah, because I'll die if that inchworm touches me. There's a key. Let's see if I... Fucking hell. Please start me here. I died literally at the key in the door. Good, they started me here. So far, that's one redeeming factor about Captain Comic. Checkpoints are very forgiving. There's a bit of a load time there. I'm gonna, am I in ancient Greece now? What's going on? Well... Now I'm actually fighting something that looks like it's an alien. Looks like a heel slime from Dragon Quest, or one of the fly creatures from Super Mario for the Game Boy. Is that a new blast level 2? Good. Much prettier background. Wish I can comment on the music, but you know, hopefully by the next time I'll have figured out what's wrong with the music. At least you guys can hear it. You know, that may not be a good thing. <laughs> if it's anything like other uh, Wisdom Tree games or Colored Dreams as... Ooh, lightning. Hey! 
Now this is what I'm talking about. Fuck. <laughs> that floaty controls just screw me over. You know, maybe I should play these games without music, because I'm finding it a lot easier to uh, make coherent sentences. That's always a bonus. Wow. I, I can't even... Words, there are none. Let me guess, there's no continues. Come on, come on. Let's see... Just press some buttons, see if I can do anything, because I don't really want to start back here. So I start with no gun again, and I hit everything on my way through. Literally everything. <laughs> you can't jump through the platform, so that strategy I was trying to do did not work. Finally got the gun, and I only have three health left. The attack cardinals and inchworms, you know. It's very deadly on, deadly on planet, whatever the fuck this is. Is that the sword? No, it's part of the fence. Yeah, I honestly can't say I'd recommend this game. I highly doubt I'm going to get much farther than I did last time, if I even make it that far. Um, there seems to be a delay of about a millisecond between the time you pressed... How did I die? Was that a delayed death? There's a delay in everything. I was trying to say there's a delay. In oh crap, I was gonna try to demonstrate something there, but then everything came. Let's see, nothing, no, everything. Okay, so I press the button and there's about a millisecond delay in the firing. Furthermore, you can't shoot a se fucking hell. You can't shoot a second bullet until the first bullet is off the screen. So that, you know, in a situation like this, where there are four enemies on the screen, if you fire at one and miss, the other three you can't even shoot at. Got the, uh, wave gun again, thank god. I keep wanting to demonstrate things, so I try to get away from enemies, and then more just come. The jumping's relatively good if you're just jumping straight. There is a very, very slight delay, but it's not as bad as the gun. But like I said before, the worst part about the jumping is the floatingness. And you kind of skid very slightly when you hit the ground. I'm sure you've seen me fall into a pit a few times and it looked like I shouldn't have. I blame that, although I wouldn't deny that I do kind of suck at video games. Anybody who watches these, you only get the way special weapon for a short time. That is garbage. Anyway, anybody who watches these can... can can attest for the fact that I kind of suck at most video games. Believe me, I am good at some, just not most. Okay, my idiot roommates are making a lot of noise, so I apologize if you hear anything in the background. My uh, idiot landlord decided people needed to move in the house with me, and, well, that's garbage. Okay. So... Just so you know, this cartridge, the uh, Colors Dreams, a lot of them, I think actually all of them, are pretty unique looking. They are, like this one is a baby powder blue color. It looks a lot like the Wisdom Tree games. The blue ones anyway, not the black ones. Again, because Wisdom Tree, shit. A Wisdom Tree <laughs> um, came from Color Dreams. It's an uncommon game. I actually got it at a pretty decent price. I'd never played this game before today. I got it specifically before my collection. Um, as far as a collector's piece, it's not awful, but as a game, it's it's pretty not remarkable. You've definitely played worse games, but you've definitely played better. And I mean definitely played better. Games that you'd probably consider mediocre are better than this. Like what games am I talking about? How about loops? That's a Pat the NES Punk reference, if you don't follow him. But yes, I actually do think Luke's is a better game. Um, other... Ikari Warriors is a better game. I mean, I'm trying to think of other games that are well known for being either, like, mediocre. See, I'm wondering if I should keep going. I'm going to keep going. Those look new. I don't remember seeing those. Another castle. Use the key here instead. Let's see where we end up. 
Ooh, now this is different. This looks like a Mega Man level. Oh, shit. Shit's coming at me from- Okay, gotta get the health. Fuck. Okay, so those- These translucent blue, th blue things work just like platforms. I'm fucked. How am I supposed to get through here? The floatiness of the jumping- Can I kill this? Thank god. I three spawns, of course. Let's see. I'm trying to, like, pull a Mario where you kind of jump up and curve around, but yeah, this game does not have controls that precise. Well, clearly I'm not supposed to come in through this way because I can't get through. Well, folks, this was Captain Comic. It is an 8-bit Nintendo game by Color Dreams, the company who would become to know as Wisdom Tree. There's not much to say about it that I didn't already say. Um, if you're a collector, this is an interesting piece to have in your collection, but if you're just playing games to have fun or, you know, get good games like Mario or Contra or Zelda, I'd honestly pass this up. I wouldn't spend more than $10 on this. That's about what I paid. Um, I'm not sure what the current going rate is, but yeah, it's not worth more than that. Anyway, thanks for watching. Visit me at GameCan.net, and have a great day. See ya.